What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Definitely feels a little weird doing a mod because I haven't done one in a while. Happy to be back. We do have a special mod that I kind of want to have been doing. I've been holding off on this for a little while just because I couldn't find the right part and I was very picky on the particular one that I was looking for. I want it specifically the way I got it and I was able to find one. It's not like a super big piece where it's gonna be like, you know, everyone wants it or like a very high demand for it. But I wanted it just for cosmetic purposes and I thought it would flow really well with the car. We do have like a carbon fiber apron that's gonna go on the rear bumper of the car. In particular, I did want it in carbon. I didn't want it like paint match to the car because obviously my car is not painted and I thought it looked better in carbon. Essentially it's gonna go on the bottom part of the rear bumper and it's gonna look like this. So it's gonna have like a little extension and I think it's gonna flow really well from you know sticking out a little bit here and then flowing all the way to the front with the side skirt extension. So obviously I felt like this one was something that I wanted particularly and it was very like it was pretty difficult to find one like every time I was looking for it it was always sold out or I would always find it in like black and I would have to paint it but I didn't want to do that. If you guys want it I'll leave the link in the description if you guys want to cop some. I think when I bought it there was like three left so if you're one of the lucky ones who bought it before the video came out or maybe you bought it when I posted it in the link then congrats. So you do have like a couple brackets and some nuts and bolts. So yeah, let me go ahead and mock it up. Let me see if I can get a right spot for it and then I'll update you guys when I kind of have it where I want it to be. So I'm gonna start off on this side, but as I was mocking it up, what I'm actually gonna do is actually drill it in two places. And there's actually a bolt under here to kind of bolts up the rear bumper to the inner fender liner. So what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use that bolt and I'm actually gonna drill a hole like right here so that this, I don't really have to use extra hardware for this part. So we're gonna use this one and that's gonna drill into here. And then for this like indent here, that's gonna be like my guide. So wherever this is lined up in the back is wherever it's going to be placed up. This little thing is kind of placed a little weirdly and I do have the rear diffuser so I don't know how how like difficult or how weird it's gonna be. But all I know is that I'm gonna drill a hole here, drill a hole here, and that's gonna be about it. I'm not gonna really drill too much into this particular piece just because it's so small. I'll update you guys when I get this drill, but I thought I'd let you guys in on what I'm actually gonna do. And for those of you who don't know or haven't drilled before, you always wanna start off with like a smaller drill bit but I had my points of where I am going to drill into. So this one is almost done. And then I do have a marker right here that I'm going to drill at. Don't worry about all the other scratches. I'm not going to use the brackets that came with the packaging because I just don't feel like it's useful. I don't even know how it's going to be placed being that the front, the rear bumper is a little weird. And this little indent is just like, it's not helping. So I don't know where I'm going to mount that. If I do use it, I'm gonna drill straight into either the diffuser or straight into the rear bumper, but I'll let you guys know. But let's go ahead and keep drilling. Always make sure you have eye protection too. You don't wanna lose your eye and protection too. So I finally got the holes drilled into the apron. So this one is gonna go towards the front of the car, but those are the two holes that I drilled into the apron. It's not a very big piece, so I don't feel like I really need that much hardware. Finally got it on. So I, what I did was I ended up bolting it to the diffuser and it's pretty solid. I don't think it's going anywhere, but I feel like it's like a good little hint. Obviously you have the diffuser and it doesn't, I feel like it flows really well. I was a little afraid of how it's gonna look like with the diffuser and this on, cause I've only seen it with just the apron and no diffuser. So yeah, I think it looks pretty good. So you have the flow going in. Once you get some wider tires, or wider wheels. It sticks out a good amount, but not like super crazy. Obviously I can still adjust it, but that would involve me drilling a little bit more, but that's kind of how it looks like. Let's go and head over to the other side and then we'll be finished up with this install. So I was probably in the way when installing this, but hopefully you guys had a good view of exactly what I did. We pretty much got the driver's side done now. It's pretty secure. Like I said, I did bolt it underneath the 
bumper bolt that's underneath here that I drilled, and then this side is drilled into the diffuser. And you know, you come over here, you got, you got side square cinch, you know what I'm saying? And you come to that back, ooh! You got a little bit of carbon. You can't really see it, but I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then we'll go ahead and open the garage, take the car outside, and then I'll show you guys how it looks like. I saw just a little bit, fire. I felt like it was something the car really needed, but let me clean up and then I can show you guys how it looks like when we have like a little bit more room. We got the squad. We got the brisket brewing. We got the chef, the young chef. Sorry, we waited for like two hours. Sorry. Oh my god, what are you doing, dog? Oh yeah, dude. Grill those meats. Grill those meats. We big pull over here. I don't even know how many plates of freaking meat I had. Pause, but we're gonna head out of here. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're just gonna end the video right here. I am hella full. I have like a food coma right now because I much damn food but we pretty much got the part installed i think it looks pretty good i'll get more pictures and more shots of it so i can show you guys in the future and like i said if you guys want to buy one or if you want to buy a set of it i'll leave the link in the description down below so if you guys want it you guys can go ahead and cop there i think it's a really good addition to the car i think it's something that the car was missing and it actually looks really good better than i actually thought originally but you know you can be the judge of that but if you found this video helpful and if you guys enjoyed this video definitely give this video a big thumbs up and if you guys aren't already subscribe to the channel down below we do have a lot more videos coming in the future and i do have a lot more mods for the is in the near future so hopefully you guys will stay tuned for that but until the next video we'll see you guys in the next one peace